Hi guys, how's it going? Marco Mischter speaking from Smart Brain Academy. And uh, today I want to talk about uh, uh, web security or uh, how you can make your website uh, a bit safer. Okay, let's start protecting your website. Websites. Okay, think about it. A big aspect of web security is securing your own websites most important this is a speci especially important to people who work online like like we do we are online marketers uh, but it's also important for uh, for guys who have just their website for for a hobby um, basically anyone who has a website should take some basic uh, precautions precautions to ensure security okay let's see um how to probably back up your website is one of the first points um this seems not like like a really a security step but it's uh probably the single most important step you can take to ensure your website is safe and um yeah what do i mean it's actually uh, you have to back up your site um because you have to think always about the worst case scenario okay and it is the best way to back up your website to to be like 100 percent sure that you can save your website okay backing up your website um, um the first thing you can do is to check with your host because sometimes uh, they handle uh, website backups uh, and sometimes even uh, even they do it like like an automatic backup. I'm not quite sure. I use uh, a uh, hostgator if they do it, but I guess there is a possibility. Um, yeah, with some premium uh, hosting package, you can handle your backups uh, automatic. They will do everything for you. The next thing is copy your files. Um, actually, it's, uh, it's a simple step you can uh, can take is to backup all of your website's files and uh, how you can do this the easiest way is to do this uh, to access uh, your ftp with a client like a uh, filezilla and then download the entire public uh, html folder uh, of your website quite easy just uh, go in there with filezilla for example and then copy your uh, public html folder Okay, uh, copy database. Um, if you're wondering if you have a database or not, remember uh, any CMS type of web platform like uh, WordPress will use a database. And uh, with, with most uh, hosting package out there, not all of them, but most of them, you will have some kind of control panel to manage your sites. And um, most, of, uh, most of them use a cPanel. And if you don't have a control panel, contact your web host and ask them about backing up my SQL databases. Then you can export. This steps actually for people who use uh, CMS blogging platforms for their websites. And uh, since WordPress and similar programs are the popular, it is uh, worth a mention. Okay, let's see. Um, there are many third-party programs and applications out there that uh, can help you with backups. And here are um, some choices. Okay, the first one is uh, WP Dropbox plugin. This is actually uh, yeah, a simple plugin w uh, which will backup your WordPress installation to Dropbox uh, at a, speci a specified frequency. For example, you say, okay, every, uh, every week uh, I will a backup to uh, to Dropbox and then uh, this plugin is doing it. Okay, then you have backup machine. Uh, backup machine offers free backups as well as a premium service that will backup your website and database daily. It's quite safe because when you backup your uh, your database daily, you save everything uh, on a daily basis. And then you have drop my site. Uh, it's it's actually a very simple bare bones program that will automatically uh, automatically back up your site, email and databases into cloud storage. Okay, 
guys that's it for today uh, like always like and subscribe to my channel and visit my blog under markemerster.com and today a special thing uh, have a look uh, in the link underneath this video where i can show you a way to uh, back up uh, or secure all your sites actually with uh, one push of a button okay that's it for today have a good one bye guys